My name is Dr. William C. Black. I'm a chest radiologist at Dartmouth-Hitchcock North Cotton Cancer Center, and I have been involved with the National Lung Screening Trial since 2002. I think the main takeaway is that lung cancer screening can be done in a cost-effective manner. Uh, this is very important because lung cancer is by far and away the leading cancer killer in the United States. However, for lung cancer screening to be cost-effective, it must be done in the proper way. We must screen the right patients, we must screen these patients correctly, and if we find things that are suspicious for lung cancer or something else, we must manage the patients correctly. For patients, I think what this means is that they should find out if they are eligible for lung cancer screening, and then think about it and talk it over with one of their providers to see if they want to proceed. However, if they are still smoking, the most important thing they can do is to stop smoking. In the early planning of this study, uh, before 2002 when the study started, uh, we wanted to make sure that we captured both the benefits of the CT screening, if there were any, and the costs. After we found out that the CT screening did in fact provide benefits in terms of um, prolonged life expectancy, uh, we then uh, extensively reviewed the costs of the CT screening um, process to look at the ratio of the cost to the, um, the benefits. And that's where we are today. If you are interested in further exploring the possibility of your eligibility or having screening for lung cancer, uh, DHMC is certainly an option. Uh, we were one of the trial sites in the National Lung Screening Trial, so we are very familiar with how to properly inform people about the benefits and harms and how to screen the patients and how to manage them.